This song I'm going to sing you for the Scotland football team That year in 77 and how they reign supreme They were the county champions for four years in a row They played it twice at Bally Bay and the Harvester had to go Oh year 78 was the first they won the Ulster crown When the bit St John's of Antrim Down in Dungannon town A journalist there that day Gave Scott a little chance That the boys in blue who are so true Played John's merry dance One first place all that night In the villages around To welcome home their heroes To their wee Five bus loads went that day, and three of races loaded vans. If one man deserved the credit, yes, Sean McKeggy was that man. Yeah, if one man deserved the credit, Sean McKeggy was that man. Him and Keenan was the goalie, man the net and style. Jeremy Carver did full back, he could drive the ball a mile. His brother Martin on the right, no man did care to pass. For this coffee, left full back, for his football that was class. Sean McCarroll played centre half, he was like a man of steel. Damien Starrett, engine trainer, no way those boys did yield. And at centre field that day, though surely ruled the roost, Sean McCudden and Brendan Lewis, they give them quite the roost. On the 40 was Tom Miner, he was very sound. Brian Rice and Carmack Morgan. Their men they sure got round. Jim McKiggy was a kicker, and he did not let them down. Seamus McCarvel at the forward was a man of mighty hound. Yeah, they had another forward, Brian Morgan was his name. And just like all the rest, who would he play the game? McDermott when he was called in, and he gave the Johns a fright. And as the game progressed, sure they knew they'd lost the fight. And as the game progressed, sure they knew they'd lost the fight. When they went down to Tullamore, Paul Sherlock for to play. It delighted their supporters, those heroes on that day. And when the game was over, the excitement and the fun, they all went home but satisfied, yeah, another game was won. Then on the 17th of March, they were all up like the lark, as Cork Steamer Rangers were waiting in Crow Park. And with the stick and snow that day, how did they make their way? In the result of that match, sure St. Patrick had a say. Although they did not win the game, no one there did frown. The officials and the lads could not let them down. And on through 79, where the proof was not in vain. And as all star champions, they were back in Pro Park once again. Yeah, as all star champions, they were back in Pro Park once again. Then injuries hit the team. There were replacements to be found For Ferguson and Lillis 
and Sharkina he stood down Brian Rice went into man the net Mickey Coffey's joined the fray with Donald Mina and Oni Sherry sure the team was on its way In the 1980 championship that day in Bally Bay was the Harps those heroes that they played and the first game was all square the Harps thought they had a chance but in the replay yes that's time to have a dance uh, one Sunday in November a very memorable day at the final day in Arma again the Jones they played when the final whistle sounded it was 1-3-2-1-4 and the John's colours they went down as it entangled before. So here's to their supporters who followed them around and flocked to see the bonfires that night around the town. That time it is remembered down through these later years. There is no more one can say